Did you know that you can significantly improve your day trading with a highly effective strategy using one of the most accurate indicators on TradingView? In this video, I'm going to unveil a trading method that's not only powerful on lower time frames like the 5 and 50 minutes charts, but also adaptable for higher time frames like the 1 hour and even daily charts. Whether you're into cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum, or you prefer trading major forex pairs and stocks, this strategy is versatile enough for all. So buckle up and get ready because we're about to dive deep into this game-changing strategy strategy. Before we dive in, a quick note. This video isn't sponsored by Lux Algo. However, using the link in the description, you can support my channel and get up to a 20% discount on Lux Algo premium indicators. Traders, before we start, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Okay, without wasting any time, let's get straight into it. The strategy I am going to share with you today is based on a trend trading style of trading. If you don't know what that is, it's basically when you go with the prevailing sentiment in the market. So, you buy when everyone else is buying and you sell when everyone else is selling. This strategy works on several markets and time frames. It can be used from 15 minutes to 4 hours and more. But as an example for this video, we will use the gold chart on the 1 hour and the 15 minutes time frame. The strategy includes three indicators. In order to add the first one, click on the Indicators tab and search for Lux Algo Signals and Overlays Premium. It is the most popular premium tool created by Lux Algo. It has almost 23k likes, which tells us that it's quite legit, so click that to your chart. The Signals and Overlays is an all-in-one toolkit made up of more than 20 plus features primarily focused on generating useful signals and overlays to fulfill any trader's technical analysis needs with relevant data. This signals and overlays indicator can be used alongside other forms of technical analysis. However, it was also designed to be used as a standalone toolkit that can fit any trading style. Now let's open the settings of the Lux Algo Signals and Overlays Indicator and adjust its settings. First, let's take a look at the basic settings. For the presets and filters, we want to use none. For the signal mode, we also want to use none, and we do not want to use the AI signal classifier, so make sure this option is disabled. We can leave the signal sensitivity by default as we are going to use the autopilot sensitivity. Next, for the candle coloring, we are going to use Confirmation Simple. For this strategy, we don't need any indicator overlay, so make sure all the overlay options are disabled. Within the advanced settings, we want to set the autopilot sensitivity to short term, and we are good to go. And as we're setting up these powerful tools, remember that using my link in the description not only gives you access to the full capabilities of Lux Algo, but also supports my channel. Plus, you'll get up to a 20% discount on these premium indicators. It's a win-win for both of us. Now we want to add our second indicator to the chart. Let's click the Indicators tab again and search for Lux Algo Oscillator Matrix. The Oscillator Matrix is a special tool that combines over six different parts to help us follow trends and spot when they might change. It's like having many tools in one that work together. We can use it in different ways. For instance, it can show when there's a lot of money coming into the market and also give strong signals that a trend might reverse. It can also give us immediate signals about upcoming trends by showing when there's not much money flowing into the market. Now that we understand the logic behind this indicator, we want to adjust its settings. So let's open the settings, click the style section and uncheck everything except for the hyperwave and the overbought and oversold level. To increase the visibility of the hyperwave, we can click the line option and make the line a little bit thicker just like this. Also, I prefer to use a red color for the overbought level and green for the oversold level. Finally, we want to add one more indicator, so let's click the Indicators tab once again and search for SMA and click the simple moving average to our chart, which is located under the technical section. We want to open the settings of the SMA and for our length, we want to use 40. Under the style section, we want to change the color to yellow and we want to make the line thicker to increase its visibility. Now onto the fun stuff. Let's delve into the trading rules to understand how we can use this strategy profitably and let's first start with the rules to enter a long trade. For a long entry signal to be valid, there must be three conditions met. First, we need to identify an uptrend. We can identify the uptrend simply by using the candle coloring of the signals and overlays indicator and by using the SMA line. As we can see here, the candles are colored in green, which indicates that we are in an uptrend, and as the price action is located above the simple moving average line, we can consider it as an uptrend. Second, we need to see a valid pullback into the SMA line. For a pullback to be valid, the candles need to touch or close below the yellow line. Third, now we need to check the oscillator matrix. For the oscillator matrix to give us a valid long entry signal, we need to see the hyperwave crossing below the 20 level. As we can see here, the hyperwave crossed and closed below the 20 level, so all conditions for a valid long entry are met, and we can open a buy trade at the close of the candlestick. 
We put our stop loss below the last swing low, and we are going to exit the trade as soon as the hyperwave crosses and closes above the 80 level. Let me show you another example for a valid long entry signal. So let's check three easy steps. First, we need to see if the market is going up. Looking at the chart, if most candles are green colored and the price action is above the yellow line, it means the market is going up. Second, we look for a small drop in price where it touches or goes just below the yellow line. This is what we call a pullback. Third, we check our special tool, the oscillator matrix. We want to see the line called hyperwave go down and cross below the 20 level, which is this horizontal line right here. In our charts, it does this, so all our rules for a long entry are met. We put our stop loss, which is like a safety net, below the lowest point the price went recently. We close the trade and take profit when the hyperwave line goes up and crosses above the 80 level, which is this horizontal line right here. Let me show you an example for an invalid long entry signal. As we can see here, the price action is more in a sideways movement. We can identify this sideways movement by simply checking the candle coloring of the signals and overlays indicator. Also, if we draw some horizontal lines, we can see this is more a consolidation zone. So even if the oscillator matrix is giving us a long signal, we do not want to enter a long trade at this point. Let me show you another example for an invalid long entry signal. As we can see here, the hyperwave is very close to the 20 level, but it has never crossed and closed below it. Do not make the mistake to FOMO in here because it might result in a loss, even if the overall chart is uptrending. Let's move on to the rules to enter a short trade. For a short entry signal to be valid, there must be three conditions met. First, we need to identify a downtrend. This can be done using the candle coloring of the signals and overlays indicator and the SMA line. When the candles are red, it indicates a downtrend, especially if the price action is below the simple moving average line. Second, we need to see a valid pullback into the SMA line. A valid pullback happens when the candles touch or close above the yellow line. Third, we must check the oscillator matrix. For a valid short entry signal from the oscillator matrix, the hyperwave should cross above the 80 level. Once it crosses and closes above this level, all conditions for a valid short entry are met and we can open a sell trade at the close of the candlestick. We put our stop loss above the last swing high and exit the trade as soon as the hyperwave crosses and closes below the 20 level. Let me show you another example for a valid short entry signal. We'll follow three simple steps. First, check if the market is going down. Red candles and prices below the yellow line indicate a downward trend. Second, look for a pullback where the price touches or crosses above the yellow line. This is essential. Third, use the oscillator matrix. We need the hyperwave to cross above the 80 level, which is marked by the red horizontal line. If this happens, it means all our rules for a good short trade are met. We set our stop loss above the recent highest price point. We close the trade and take profit when the hyperwave line goes down and crosses below the 20 level, marked by the green horizontal line. Let me show you an invalid short entry signal. We avoid entering a short trade just because the hyperwave enters the overbought zone. It's crucial to follow all three rules for profitability. For the last tip of our strategy, remember this. Only take three to five trades in the same direction. This is important because markets often pause after a significant move in one direction, similar to how you need to catch your breath after running fast. This pause can lead to market corrections or sideways movement, increasing the unpredictability and risk in your trades. Limiting trades helps capitalize on strong moves and minimizes risk. Remember, a great strategy is complemented by great tools. Lux Algo Premium Indicators are a game changer. Using my link in the description not only supports my channel but also gets you up to a 20% discount. It's an opportunity to elevate your trading game affordably. To recap, we've covered the key rules for entering long and short trades using this strategy. It's simple, effective, and enhanced with the right tools. Happy trading and don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon for more insights like this.